Holy moly, gang! An actual transfer window! Uh, first time ever! We're making transfers! You're going places in the world! I mean, they're not amazing, but we at least made transfers! It's a transfer special! Drum roll! I roll the intro! Friends, and good morning to you all. It is now a lovely, lovely, cool morning here in Turkey, which is very, very important for what I'm about to do because, well, yeah, it's become so hot that it is literally impossible for me to do this like during the afternoon or anything. So now I've just gotten up super early. I, can I even do, do you see it in my eyes? I don't know. I had a bit of coffee and I, yeah, I'm pumped and ready to go, but uh, this is basically what I have to do now every time I want to record because. Oh my lord, it is hot down here. And uh, also, it's hot here. It's hot in the gate, in there, like in there with mouse, mouse, mouse. It's really hot in there. Like lots of transfers has happened there. Yeah, I mean, I start off at the squad screen because, I mean, there's lots of familiar faces, but there's lots of new ones. So, uh, yeah, let's delve into the transfers. Right, well, let's start with the last season transfers. I mean, these are just the transfers that happened before the... You know, the season kind of ticked over or whatever. But as you can see, we've actually spent money. Total of 35 million. Whew. Um, yeah. Uh, but first, some outs. Now, of course, lots of loans out. That's what we do. You loan out all the young boys or the ones that are... Uh, well, whatever. You played manager. Lots of loans. But we did make a few sales. Like Mr. Philip Billing here, our very, very solid like reserve kind of guy right in the midfield. We sold him to CSK in Moscow and um, yeah, I mean, you can kind of see why he's 27, he's not going to really ever progress. He was a great player, but, eh, well, okay, he was a good player, but not really great or anything. Um, so yeah, I mean, you may as well just get him off the payroll, right? Uh, Kasper Schmeichel, as you know, also left to the Russian league, to Krasnodar. I mean, he's 36, right? And he was on a massive wage, like 100,000 a week. So yeah, off he goes. And of course, we don't need him any longer because we have our own goalkeeper. Other than that, you know, as you may recall, we also sold Delaney and Melee. That was in the winter transfer, though, so we've had loads of time to adjust. But uh, you can kind of see a pattern here, like um, Delaney, 31, Melee, what's he, 26. I mean, Melee is all right, but yeah, lots of outs because we are revamping the squad. And uh, I guess we should just continue with the outs. So now, like, I've, I've jumped to the next, well, the next season, which is like a few days later, right? Actually made quite a few sales here, notably... Mr. Christian Eriksson has gone to Monaco. Christian Eriksson was a fun one. I was dead certain on selling him, right? And I kept offering him out to Real Madrid were wanting him and Juventus and all sorts and Bayern. And he just kept rejecting. I was like, what the heck? So I kept trying and trying and people were lots of interest, right? Then all of a sudden he, he then wants a meeting saying, what the heck? You're trying to sell me. I was like, yes, I've been trying to sell you for a month. I was like, oh no, I'm not having this. I want to leave. So then I offered him out again and then... Monaco bit, <laughs> and then he left. So what was that? Thirty-seven point five. Eh, not too bad. I mean, yeah, he's class, but also he never really remember. He never really played up to his potential or whatever. And uh, yeah, thirty-one years old. He was on a massive wage. He was on like two hundred and something thousand, right? So I uh, got him off the bill. Uh, another one is perhaps a little bit surprising. Sorry, the bloody beard is tickling my nose. Yusuf Paulson has gone to Arsenal, which is pretty funny that it's Arsenal, but yeah. 41 million is it total? Yeah, it is. But he's also getting up there and, you know, we have younger strikers that we actually want to gamble on. Which sometimes could be tricky when you then add Yusuf Paulson on the bench or, you know, in the squad that just randomly performed every time. And uh, now I'm forced to not play him, which is good, but I just noticed something. Like it says down here, he actually has 70 goals for us um, <coughs> in 100 matches, which is... Not too bad. I mean, he has been tearing it up, right? 33 goals in 33 matches in this season. I mean, he's playing, he really has been playing well over his station for a striker. I mean, with 11 finishing still, but yeah, I urge you, I urge you to randomly try him out. If you're doing a big team save or something at the start of the season, just try and buy him, even though it doesn't seem like logical, like it, it doesn't seem good enough to play for United or whatever, right? He just randomly does really well, and I, I, I'm not sure why, but <sighs> off he goes, and also Joachim Anderson, our like third or fourth choice centre back. He's never gonna. I'm never gonna play him enough to justify him being here. He's on a decent wage as well, not too shabby actually. But yeah, got some money for him, fourteen and a half million. Uh, any other? Uh, it's 
rest are pretty much loans. A few youngsters that are never going to be good, I sold for money and put in some sneaky clauses here and there. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it in terms of the outs. So um, let's jump to the ins. Right, and with the ins, of course, we start with last season, as it says so in game at least. But um, yeah, I mean, we bought this guy, but this is quite a while ago, right? And yeah, I don't know. It, I don't think he's going to ever uh, improve uh, that dramatically, but eh, it was at the time I was just desperate. I mean, it's over a year ago, right? So I just bought him and he's, he's, he's been out on loan since. So yeah, yeah, good luck for him. This one is very, very funny. Dubia Hayaj. Now, he's a regen and look at him. I mean, he is just amazing. Now, ignore the fact that he's clearly Israeli. Um, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> he is half Israeli and half Danish and I did like I was it a free right yeah free this is when I my usual manager profile is what I was doing like I was finding these youngsters and then obviously getting them on a free which and then two years later he, he is he, he appeared because apparently uh, human trafficking is wrong and child labor and stuff is wrong so he appeared two years later and uh, now he's suddenly Israeli um so that's fun and he even has caps for israel which is actually a bit daft i mean you can see why i mean he's so amazing right already at 18 so um yeah i've loaned him out to uh, a danish team i'm just gonna keep loaning him out and then i uh, i'm gonna sell him at some point i'm never gonna play him that's against the rule but it's not my bloody fault he randomly chose to become an israeli manager speaking of i mean i actually kind of know why <laughs> that's because i'm not the Dan denmark manager which i definitely should be uh, I can actually show you who is, which is even more weird. Uh, it is Steve McLaren. So, uh, is he even a manager? What the heck is he doing? And he's been there for a while, like managers. Where is it? Where is it? Steve McLaren. So, he joined on the, the 20th of July, 2021. And he's just been, well, crap. And they're not doing anything really, but he's apparently stable in his job. So, that's a shame because I would have made that guy Danish then if it was me. But, hmm, Steve McLaren, everyone. Welcome. But now is where the kind of fun began. And then the, I guess this guy kind of goes with the same one. I got him on a free, right? And it was just my old manager profile kind of thing, how I always think about managers. And I got him on a free, and uh, yeah, he has good potential about him. And uh, yeah, so I got him on a free two years ago, and uh, now he just joined. Now is where the fun changes, because of course I realized why am I getting random players for free when I have all this money and also I need to pump money into Denmark so you'll see that I've paid money I've paid ridiculous amounts of money for the, the regions I've found like this guy I paid 10 million for him 10 million quid which is ridiculous for this player he's not even like super duper good I mean he he's decent right where is he Luca Butazzi and by the way is he yeah half Italian so l luckily he's not very good so he's definitely not going to get called up to the Italian squad but uh, I mean good bravery and all but uh, he needs to develop quite a lot if I'm ever going to use him. But yeah, he's decent and uh, you never know. So I loaned him out to a Danish team as well. Actually, my local team in Denmark, Ranos FC. Um, it's not too exciting. This guy though, Brian Julko, bought him from Mid uh, Midtjylland for 15 million. Again, I just, 15 million? Here you go. Look at this gem. 18 years old in the midfield. Like as I, I want to be like the deep lying playmaker. 70 decisions already at 18. That is dauntless. Look how well-rounded he is. First touch, marking, passing, tackling all 13, 12 t technique. Maybe you want to improve that one a little bit, but just look how well-rounded he is. 15 positioning. His physicals are amazing. Well, maybe not amazing, right? But they're so well-rounded. He's just so unbelievably good. At 18, I'm going to play this guy loads this season. And you can see he's already worth, well, 9 million. That's probably because of my daft. Uh, 15 million I spent for him, but uh, yeah, off to the end this season, and I uh, will save the, I guess this one kind of goes with the same one, I paid 15 million for this guy, definitely not worth 15 million, but he could actually be pretty good down the road, like, good defender, like, balance and jump reach already 16, 17 determination, which I absolutely love, <clears throat> tackling, heading of 13, and 12 marking, it's not too bad, he does look very promising, but I guess we'll see. I'm I'm pretty excited about him. He's gonna stay, and I'm gonna give him some game time here and there. So hopefully he will develop. This guy, which is very weird. This guy's a real player, Christian Rasmussen. I mean, you'll see. He's a bloody wonder kid. I bought him from Juventus. Did he actually start at Juventus? I guess not. They bought him from Ajax. Okay. And he doesn't he doesn't look overly amazing, right? But he's fast, good 
decent crossing, I would say. Good dribbling as well, and first touch and all that. Like He has potential to be actually very, very good. And uh, the right wing was something that we had a little bit of trouble with. We don't really, we only have a score out there as a substitute. And then, so it was good to have uh, an extra option out there. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I actually kind of, I like him a lot, like 20 years of age. But as you can see, he's a bloody real player. I mean, he, d he does look a bit strange, doesn't he? I mean, he looks very worried. And that hair is very typical Danish. We call it liver pate color. Um, but yeah, I guess it's a bit blonde. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it just, I don't know. It's just he's a wonder kid. So he may be the best player in the bloody world. Who knows? But uh, and one thing I guess I did not really notice because it's just one of them many, 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 many loans that got out. Um, I've actually loaned out Mr. Drami. Uh, even though I sold you to Paulson, uh, Fakir is going to be my starter, and this guy, I don't know, I, I, I don't see enough from him, so I, I'm going to give him one season away on loan, and then see if he just, if he just bombs him in, then I'll recall him or something, and then proper gamble on him, but it might be a gamble in terms of we only really have one designated striker, which is, of course is Wahid Fagir, who's going to, well, he's going to play every match, hopefully, uh, until he gets injured, and then we, it all falls to pieces, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be our squad. Uh, we still have players like this geezer. Oh, who's actually, I, that's not who I thought about at all, but sure. I mean, he's a bit of a read, uh, he's a one of our own, um, very fast and very technician, whatever winger. Yeah, good for him. That was that's not who I wanted to show you. It's this guy, Peter Christiansen. So, I guess it's a bit silly. I just bought a bloody right winger, but this guy can also play up front if it has to be necessary. I don't know, not finishing with nine, but we've seen you as a pulse and bomb them in, so who knows. And yeah, he just looks, well, he looks decent. He's also one of our homemade, which is good, right? One dude that is really, really developing well is Mikkel Damsko. So definitely try him out on your own games as well. Like, he just looks so good. Potentially a bit of four and a half stars. I mean, what does it even mean in terms of my squad? Probably not a lot, but yeah. And Benjamin Jensen, of course, who's going to be our starter AMC this year because Ericsson is now finally gone. So I'm, I've I can't just revert to the good old saying, oh no, we're playing away to Manchester United, let's play the big boys. No, this year we're going all in. Of course, our hero, Mr. Kim Hatson, our he's going to start, well, every game as well, alongside Mr. Andreas Christensen, who's going to stay, he's going to remain our like captain, and like I want to build it around him. He, he's, he's pretty experienced by now, and he's just a very solid player, right? Uh, sadly, that means that Mr. Victor Nelson is not going to play as much. There's always going to be injuries, rotations, all that. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's good, but he's not. He's not quite amazing, right? And he's not really going to develop that much more. But he's great to have off the bench or as a option if we get injuries, etc. This, of course, is going to be our right back that we're going <sighs> to gamble with. <laughs> I'm not overly confident on the right back, but he played really well. And um, so, can you really blame? 19 matches, 7.6. Only four assists, which is a bit of a shame, right? But he did play really well in that um, last season. And if everything fails, we have this guy as well with his 16 tackling. And he has some more green ones, but he's pretty slow. And I don't know, his mentals aren't very good. Determination of four is definitely not a great thing. But we shall see. We shall see. Philip Bungo is also back. He was on a loan spell last season. Um, on, Philip Bungo is also a real player. I mean, he scored eight goals and two assists for Sunyusk in the, in the last season, which is pretty darn good. Sunyusk is not a big team in Denmark, so he, the fact that he did that, that for a small team. And he's going to be kind of a second-choice striker, but also second-choice uh, advanced playmaker, as probably a shadow striker down there. It's his 14 finish, and he's actually pretty good. He's just so slow, and he's not strong either, so I don't know what the heck he's playing at. 10 acceleration, 11 pace. It's not really what you want from a striker, is it? Unless he's an actual target man, then I could understand, but he's not. I mean, how old? He's 174 centimeters for all you Brits that don't know that. And I don't know, he's eight stones and 800 feet or something. I don't know, because I don't know them, them calculations, but whatever. This geezer as well is a bit of a, well, I guess, <laughs> I mean, they're all pretty superstar potentials. But um, yeah, Mr. Tykes Punt is also one of our homemade regens from last season. Nah, he's actually been here one more season than that, but also going to play him quite a bit i think out on the left maybe or stick him up up front because he's fast i mean he doesn't have finishing but we all know that doesn't mean anything um good technique good acceleration good pace like he just looks mm, he 
looks pretty solid. I would probably play him mostly on the left wing as a proper winger, just get, bombing down the 10 crossing. But, but I mean, for a young player, it's not too bad, right? So I guess I may as well <laughs> show you the finances as well. I mean, our overall balance is 328 million. Our transfer budget is almost 200 million remaining. I mean, it's ridiculous, but uh, yeah, this is what happens when you can't really spend any money. So I'm just, yeah, I don't know. Oh, also, I should probably show you, the, I mean, this guy is literally from here, right? Does it actually say anything? Place of birth, Copenhagen. It's, he says he's half Italian, and he's apparently Italian, so uh, he's actually five-star potential. I'm not sure I agree with that. Right back, but he's only 16 years old, right? So maybe Mr. McLaren will do us a favor and one day call him up to the Danish team, or maybe I'll have to do it myself when McLaren event eventually gets sacked because he's the worst manager in life, uh, in history of life and all sorts. But uh, yeah, I mean, we'll just have to see how it goes because that's just going to happen sometimes. Some of them are going to have split nationalities, which is fine because I'm also trying to get the ones that are, let's say, Brazilian, but then have half a smidgen of Danish in there, <laughs> even though that's not many players. But I'm also searching for that. I'm not just searching Danish players. I'm searching partially Danish and then I'm just going to vet them. I'm going to I'm gonna give them lots of liver pate. I'm going to give them smurple. I'm going to give them... Frikadilla, I'm going to give them all the Danish amazing food and then they're going to turn Danish over a month. That's the plan. But uh, yeah, it's going to be an exciting season, I think. I mean, I don't know what to expect. We are so young, fresh, hungry. I don't know. Speaking of, of course, our super duper goalkeeper who is um, he's progressing nicely. But I don't know. It's not. He's not progressing that much, I think. But I mean, it's not like we have a choice. We, we're just going to have to keep him. I mean, he, I just noticed there. I don't know if you can see it, but he's played 50 games for, for Danes over four years and conceded 50 goals. So that's one per game. That is not overly amazing, but oh well, oh well. Now, we do actually have a match today. I just wanted to quickly see this one. So now we're predicted ninth. I believe we're always predicted 10th, so maybe that's a bit of an improvement. But uh, yeah, nothing real to note about. <laughs> I mean, we don't have any players in the top 11. We don't have any... We don't even have, like, any other young boys to watch or whatever you know the media thingy which is kind of a sad thing but uh, i don't know i think we can do well um in terms of the schedule um I'm sure you remember we played tottenham two times the last two matches last so of course we start off the league with one match versus tottenham then it's bloody city okay then it turns a little bit easy but look at this patch here chelsea arsenal liverpool man united and brighton is in there as well the, be the best team in the world apparently when i play them but it's a bit of a strange one. Well, I just love the fact that we played Tottenham in the last two Premier League matches of the season last season, and then we start off the season with Tottenham. But um, yeah, let's get into that because I have lots of tactic things to set up with all the new players and stuff. So uh, be right back, right? Well, that literally took forever because yeah, I had to do individual roles and all sorts. So I just like in the player thing, Imajiga here. So I just, whenever I change a player, it automatically picks the best role for the player I put in, like the preferred role for me at least. So uh, yeah, that's a lot of admin going on there. But um, yeah, this is the team that's going to win the league. It's going to be Jakobsen, Christensen, Henson, Paulson. Of course, Paulson, our very solid left back, is going to be starting with Stenob. I always forget the goalkeeper, but yeah, you know it. It's Stenob in there. Uh, midfield is actually going to be used goal. He's going to start and then alongside Hoybia, which is a bit of a shame because, I mean, I kind of want to play Norty as well, but, uh, I mean, there's going to be loads of matches, so it's not a problem, but this time I want to see Jules go. And then Boon Larsen and Dumps go on the wings. Of course, these are basically our troublemakers, our best players. I mean, this is where it happens, right? Our two wingers are the most important players, especially now with Eriksen gone and Jules Paulsen gone. And, um, yeah, speaking of, Jensen is going to sit there in the hole and do playmaking things and, uh, yeah, develop hopefully nicely, and then Fakir up front, who's actually, I mean, he's decent, right? Should have just played him every match, but, mm, I mean, 11 goals last season, not too bad, but, yeah, it's not to see more, and we will, hopefully, because, yeah, he's going to start every single game, if possible. All sorts of numbers now. <laughs> oh, Christian Rasmussen can get a new number. Well, so congratulations on number 26. All right, and even the Tottenham team is looking, well, I guess a bit familiar. I mean, they still have Eric Dyer at the back. Surely we can win this match then. Regulon on left back as well. Uh, and Florian Tolman on the right. No, I mean, in manager at least, he's a good player, right? Uh, Benacer, they also have Ndombele still, Lo Celso still, Harry Kane still, Troy Parrott, Sean Heung-min. Um, not too bad of a team. And of course, they're playing the 4-4-2, which 
sometimes was a little bit uh, tricky. Actually, I can't remember. I think we won both matches, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah. Right, well, we are off, and apparently there's already a bit of a highlight brewing. I mean, let us just hope it draws. Of course, I don't. Uh, is the uh, SI gonna think? Is it is gonna be confused again? Forgive in. Well, la, 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 la. I mean. Beautiful, beautiful start. First highlight and seven minutes into the game. Fakir with a great, great finish there. I was going to say if the SA engine will be confused again if I'm Tottenham or if I'm, uh, if I'm, I was going to say Southampton there, but you know, Danes, the Vikings, the, the Overlords. Oh, and a corner now. We all know what that means. Uh, I guess not in this one, so maybe it was a bug. They definitely should have gone in, but Dam's going to keep the ball. Now the end's in the very pill. Oh, that pass was. That pass was ridiculous from Benjamin Jensen. What an assist to Poon Larsen. Like I said, I highlighted him before the match. Poon Larsen, we need to have a good performance out of him and Damsko. And Damsko is actually the one who kind of just drives the ball. And then Benjamin, what is this? First time, just in the pocket, that proper Michael Laudrup esque Wow, what a goal and great finish from Poon Larsen, to be fair. Okay, now, I mean, this is literally the following island. Maybe Demiral. I remember him having a bit of a shocker last time we played. I mean, I guess he's. Does it count as revenge? I mean, I don't know. Let's just see it again, I guess. I mean, it's just a head goal. Okay, stand all there. That is not goalkeeping, mate, but... Mm, okay. okay. I mean, this really... Another highlight you'll go now. Hoiber, out to Jakobsen. Go on, lad. Get your assist going. For here. No, 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 no. Okay, well, we at least keep the ball for now. Jakobsen? Is it going to be a pen, maybe? Oh, no, he just decided to literally pass it to one of the Tottenham players. Which, of course... Uh, it, of course you would do that, right? And then Kane is in. Right, potentially another highlight. I mean, we start from the back, which is always terrifying, but uh, let's just at least pass it to our own, right? Figi is in. I mean, that is beautiful. <sighs> okay, he definitely deserved better than that, right? It was a good save by Onana. I mean, that was just so simple, right? Right, well, half time. I mean, after a scintillating start, <laughs> three goals in the first 11 minutes. I mean, nothing really actually happened so much after that. Ah, uh, you might be winning, yeah. Don't let your performances drop because that would be that would be silly, wouldn't it? As I mean, my computer seems to be lagging a little bit, but uh, let's hope that the video is nice and crisp because why wouldn't it be, right? Um, as we kick off the second half, are we gonna just? I mean, that is some lovely play as well, Paulson. Come on. Of course, you, you can't do Poulsen to Poulsen any longer, so maybe he's a little bit confused, but Fakir, he's definitely confused. He literally just passed it to them. Okay, we win the ball back. Good job, Poulsen. Please. Yes, Fakir, he's in. <gasps> he actually scored. Oh, I thought he was going to miss that one, but great, great goal there. Holding more the entire build up there. Well, well, I was going to say the entire, but Fakir did kind of throw it away, but we managed to win the ball back at least, so there's that. And Jensen again with the assist, actually. I only just noticed it now. Wow. So, two great assists for him. Throw in from us. Poulsen to... I, I can't remember who it was. Damsko, I guess. Von Larsen now. Oh, that pass as well! Damsko, that was shockingly bad. He tried to chip him. Bless him, but... Uh, um, score is not having his best debut for the club, so good thing we do have Narty on, so let's just put him on. Straight swap. You know, now and I with the uh, clearance, I was going to say, but it was just a great pass to Von Larsen. So he's clearly confused. Better be Jensen, you want your own goal? Nah, he doesn't. He doesn't. He, another amazing assist. This guy into Damp's goal. So we yeah, we did ask a lot from them, and we they certainly delivered. The front four have been playing amazing. That pass again from Jensen, look at it. Well, I guess it's not it's not overly special, but it's a great pass. And he could have just shot, right? Let's be fair, he could have just hammered it over, but no. Okay, I mean, that's by all means, let's see it again. I mean, it's clearly not outside, so let's see the beautiful assist again. I mean, wow. And I did notice, I mean, he's actually struggling a little bit for fitness, so I think we should do some changes here. I want to get Mr. Brandt on, on the left to give him some game time. And let's actually put Bungo in there as a shadow striker. Benjamin Yesen has had a beautiful game, but he's also knackered, so let's not get any... Silly injuries, and let's tell the lads to focus. As Bungo is now with the free, free kick, it's called. <gasps> huh? That was some sick defending by Brun Larsen there. Did you see the header from Hoybjerg? It, it was going to go in, but then Brun Larsen was like, yeah, get it out. And uh, yeah, he was uh, clearly confused as well. But that can happen sometimes. When I'm 4 1 up, I'm not going to be. <laughs> just Unana just does it again. And <gasps> off the post. Holy moly, and Kostaman hold it away. 
that's twice now from Onana, but oh well. Uh, Bunla, yeah, it was Bunla. Oh, I'm so confused right now. There's so so many good players, and now Norty's gonna do s silly things. Yes, of course he is. But luckily, it does not matter. And oh, uh, corner right at the oh. Speaking of Narty, uh, wow, that was uh, first of all, it was out of nowhere, but also that was great. Boom! Just I mean, they're not marking him at all, and then he just heads it in beautifully, and he does all that when he's running. That yeah, you gotta love that. Uh, yeah, in my beautiful suit there that I highlighted during the intro bit, all white and red, of course. Five one winners. Uh, very happy, very happy indeed. Uh, they deserve a reward. Sure, it's a good feeling when everything comes together. It certainly is. Five one winners. I'm absolutely buzzing. I certainly am as well, and congratulations on your debut, you would go, yeah, I mean, you didn't play really well, did you, but, um, hmm, what a great, great match, and now we play City, so, back to reality, I guess, but, um, uh, yeah, of course, with all the transfer bonanza and all that, actual transfer bonanza for a change, uh, what I just want to see here, um, nom, 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 is Benjamin Jensen, let's see, how did he actually play, yeah, 8.2, 3 assists, what a great performance from him, I mean, I'm not sad that I saw there except now. Holy moly, that was some proper playmaking in the hole there. But, um, yeah, we are, well, right now we're top of the league. Is it gonna stay like that forever? Hopefully. But, uh, yeah, let us just wait and see. But, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. And, uh, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do. I guess we have to come back for some Arsenal or Chelsea or Liverpool or something like that, right? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna play on and, uh, if you like the episode and all the transfers, are you excited about transfers? Actual transfers, woo! It's happening, lads. Um, yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>